Hi there, Bella. So you've written your first set of essays for us. Great job. Let's see what you did here, okay? The first one is about schools, if they should be more entertaining or merely educate, and here's your answer. Some people believe that schools have to be amusing to students, whilst others argue that their main intention is to educate alone. In my opinion, I totally agree that schools have to be entertaining. This essay will discuss the reasons and give examples to demonstrate points and support arguments. Okay, fine. Firstly, the main reason that school education has to be entertaining is that it is more likely that information can be retained in the brain. This is because when students are entertained during their lessons, they tend to pay attention to the teacher and uh, to the teacher that even difficult lessons can be understood perfectly. Okay, this is the problem. You can see automatically, I my brain just read it as and, but you didn't say and, you said that. So let's see what would be more appropriate here. Um, this is because when students are entertained during their lessons, they tend to pay attention to the teacher so that even difficult lessons can be understood perfectly. That's all you're missing here then. For example, a recent study by Harvard University showed that students taught by a fun and interactive teacher outperform with no S. Why? Because you're talking about students outperform. Okay? Their counterparts, this should be plural, by 40% in their major examinations. Therefore, the benefits of having fun school lessons can make any student learn and gain knowledge. Mm. Here you're missing something. You're missing a word that shows comparison. Just than is not enough. So, the benefits of having fun school lessons can make any student learn and gain more, more knowledge than those who study with a Y, uh, with a Y, without. And why? Because again, it's, it's those it's so it's those who study plural so that would have been different if you had said um then he who studies without okay that would be okay but since you used those you have to also make this plural as well all right let's move on secondly having a fun school to go to can encourage students to attend regularly this is due to the fact that they enjoy learning and do not feel like they're obligated to uh, they okay so this they is the subject of both these verbs, so they enjoy and they do. For instance, a recent study by Queen's University found that 86% of students like, um, you need a plural here, to attend their lessons at school when the teaching environment is entertaining. Considering this reason, the advantage, advantages, plural, there's not just one advantage, of an entertaining school greatly affect, no S, the student's attendance at school. Okay, now here it shouldn't be apostrophe S, but rather it should be S apostrophe because you're not talking about just one student, you're talking about many students. To conclude from the examples and arguments, plural, given, I firmly believe that an entertaining school is a must for the benefit of the student's overall learning. Okay, now here you also could have put apostrophe s um here it's a little more acceptable because sometimes when we use um the student or the car or uh i don't know the cat um we're implying all of the um members of that group so for example uh the dog is um considered by many to be the best pet in the world Okay, here you don't mean one dog, you mean all dogs. So with that logic, you could have done it here. Okay, um, perhaps you knew that and that's why you did it here. Um, okay, maybe, maybe. It's a little bit of a stretch, but um, let me say the advantage of an entertaining school greatly affects the students. Yeah. Just be safer and do it as apostrophe in both cases, okay? Um, so, for your first essay, this is quite good. Um, you've got the template down quite well, so you're doing a good job there. Um, the elements that I liked were your task achievement, your coherence and cohesion were executed nicely. Your vocabulary was fine, 
Um, there wasn't a whole ton that was kind of higher level. It was fine. Um, I'd like to see you using a little higher level vocabulary. And um, as far as your grammar is concerned, um, there were a lot of mistakes. There were a lot of mistakes in basic grammar, and that's um, something I want you to watch out for. A lot of um, incorrect grammar with um, plurals and singulars and all those S's. So it's like you had S's where you shouldn't and you didn't have them where you should. So there was a lot of that happening. So review those rules about subject verb agreement um, and just make sure that when you have a plural, you have a verb that is also plural. Okay. Um, but on the whole for your first essay, it's a nice job. So let's take a look now at your second. Okay, let's go now to your second essay. Alrighty, so doing an enjoyable activity with a child can develop better skills and more creativity than reading. To what extent do you agree? More parents believe that reading can benefit a child more than playing. However, there are some skills that can only be acquired through doing a fun activity with them. I strongly agree uh, with this approach and its benefits to a child. Okay. Reading has numerous advantages. However, a child doing a fun art activity can develop skills that are impossible to acquire just by reading. This is because doing an art activity... Um, okay, now this is a wonderful opportunity for you to use some higher level cohesion here. You just said doing a fun art activity, and then again, doing a fun art activity. So rather than repeating yourself, try using a bit of cohesion with something like this. This is because doing such an activity okay, um, can help a child express their feelings and communicate to people. For instance, a recent study by Oxford University reveals that children who do an art activity such as painting regularly, uh, you don't need so many commas, okay, do better in IQ, not, oh, maybe you mean EQ, um, perhaps you do, okay, I was thinking IQ, but maybe you do mean EQ, tests S, then their counterparts, plural, Okay, it's not one counterpart, it's many counterparts. Therefore, the benefit of doing an enjoyable activity with a child gives a better opportunity to progress in areas neglected by reading. Okay, another point to consider is that reading at an early age can push the child's interest in reading away, especially when they are not, when they are still not ready. But if the parents allow their child to play instead, they can, here you could have used a comma. Okay, so instead, comma, they can develop relationship skills. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know what you mean by relationship skills. Maybe you mean, um, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Let me think about it. Um, this is because such skills are important to have a good relationship with other people. Role playing is a perfect example to acquire that skill as, you need something, a linker here, as or since. This allows them to get into character and experience real life roles. When they do, they will know what it is like to be in that situation, know what to do, and how to react. Okay, don't forget to keep your, your takeaway um, here. You need to have a sentence that links back to your first um, sentence. They can develop relationship skills. Maybe you mean interpersonal skills. That's the word I was looking for. Maybe that would be a better word here. Okay, let's see. Um... To conclude, I firmly believe that children should be allowed to do a fun activity because it can develop many skills that are essential for them to have and can greatly benefit them in the long run. Okay, fine. Mm. Okay, this was uh, better in terms of grammar. Um, you did a nice job. I, You followed the template accurately, so... Everything was quite good. Um, again, there wasn't much in terms of vocabulary that was higher level. It was all pretty, like, intermediate kind of uh, language here. So I'd like to see you experimenting with a little higher level vocabulary. That is, if you need a, a higher score in IELTS. I'm not really sure what score you need. Um, but assuming you need a, have a 7 and higher, I'd like to see you experimenting and trying out higher level vocabulary. Um, the rest of it is fine. In future essays, I also want to see you, um, as you get more comfortable with the template, I want to see you um, developing your paragraphs a little more. But again, for your first essay, this is uh, the set is quite good. So congratulations, good job. Now what you need to do is correct them. Okay, 
um, based on the suggestions in this video and send that corrected version back to us. Also, you need to create an error correction list where you write down all the mistakes that were pointed out to you. And next to each mistake, you have to write what the corrected version is. Send that to us as well. Um, additionally, you'll need to write a new set of essays that has been attached in this email. Um, I try to do all of this within the next day or so. This way you can really apply everything you've been learning. Okay, so go ahead and get to that. It's quite a bit to do, so I'll let you get started. So thanks very much, and I look forward to your next set of essays.